Hello, I figured I'd do a quick video over the glow effect in layout. It's a little bit more convoluted than some of the other effects, and you have to turn on several variables for it to actually show up. But uh, it's a really neat effect to put on just glowing objects like eyes or lasers. So, let's see. First of all, you have to have the surface that you want to glow be luminous. The luminosity has to be something over zero. It doesn't actually have to be 100. And you have to go into Windows, Image Processing, which is Control F8, and enable this glow value right here. This little checkbox has to be turned on. By default, this is off, but I've been messing with it, so it's on now. And uh, you also have to go back into your variables over here and go under the Advanced tab, under the... Uh, properties of the surface and turn on your glow intensity over here to something above zero. It doesn't actually matter what it is. Well, it matters, but I mean, it'll, sh it'll show up as anything above zero. And there you can kind of see the glow effect. I'm going to make it ridiculous so you guys can see it a lot easier. This glow intensity is, uh, uh it's kind of hard to explain exactly what it does. You guys are just going to have to mess around with it. But it's separate from this glow intensity over here. This intensity over here is actually the intensity of the ring that's around the glowing object. Like that. Like it'll bring it to a brighter or darker color. And this radius right here is how many pixels around the luminous object that it'll glow for. So you don't want to turn this up too high. Anything past 30 is pretty ridiculous. But I'm trying it up so you guys can see it. That's pretty much all there is to this effect. It's just kind of a neat little thing you can add in later. I personally don't actually do it in Lightwave because it takes so much render time. I bring it into something like After Effects later on and do a separate glow effect. But it is nice that this is built in to, uh, to Lightwave. they got a bunch of these different image processing things. But one thing you do need to be aware of is this is a global value over here. Like, this affects everything that has glow on it. So, this glow radius can't change from object to object. Like, say, if we went back in and turned this blue chassis piece luminous and turned its glow intensity up, it's going to show up on that, too. It's going to have the same uh, area around it in which it glows. So it's just something to be aware of. It is a global value for the intensity and the radius. But uh, that's it. If you guys have any questions, just put it in the comment section or email me if you need if you need to. I'll talk to you guys later.